Hello, Gamer Gnome is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with the Paul Fruit reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using star code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel, and this will really help us make better videos. Where the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Did you know that we will be having a reworked or V2 version of the Paul Fruit in the next update? So let's grind this account. So first, let's lure for our first skill, the Heavy Paw at Master 1. Skill is good, multi-target, but make sure to hit all your enemies, okay? Make sure to hit your enemies from the top. Check that out. I was able to miss some. Anyways, for the cooldown, hmm, not the shortest cooldown. For one Heavy Paw, I think it took us 9 seconds for it to cool down. Oh, and one more thing. Check this out. Every time you hit your enemy with your skill, a Paw sign will appear. Really cool. So guys, we're gonna grind here until level 15. By the way, next skill, Paw Barrage at Master 100. So for the stats, I'll be showing to you Melee 19, Dox Fruits 25. Why Melee Gamer Gnome and not Defense? I'm gonna show you on the next island, Fountain City. Our target is the Galley Pirate. So we're gonna use Combat. Yes, left clicks, no worry, Wall Strat. There you go. And make sure to last hit using your Paw Fruit. Okay, Heavy Paw, there you go. Leveling up here will be fast. We're going to stay here until level 60. After that, our stats, here we go, melee 35, defense 25, block for 120. And we have a new skill, the self-repel, so it's like a Soru. But you don't need a ground to cast it. Okay, so next up, next island, the desert. So here guys, our first target, desert bandits. Look for a high ground, use your skills, and that's it, spam, heavy paw. Target here is level 75. After that, can start defeating the desert officers. Again, guys, same strategy. Look for a high ground. Z skill spam <laughs> until level 90. For the stats, melee 35, defense 25, blocks fruits 210. Next island is the frozen village. Make sure to visit the cave. Buy everything the ability to your cells. Air jump 10k. I think the flash step cost 100k. Yeah. Okay, after that, head to the snow bandits. Again, high ground is the key. Lag. Okay. Anyway, keep doing this. Target level is 105. After that, we can start defeating the Yeti, the boss in this island. Guys, don't forget to do server hop. There you go, lots of Z skills. This boss has lots of HP. Really cute. Anyways, use dash to bait him to use his own skills. And that's it. Z skill, Z skill. Server hop until you reach level 130. At check. Here we go, melee and defense 40, blocks for 310. Next up, the Marine Fortress. Our target here is the Vice Admiral only. So we're gonna do server up again for the technique. You can lure him here in this part of the fortress. There you go, and use your Z skill and some combat. As you can see, he cannot damage you here. Just really easy. So I suggest just fight him face to face. So dash, jump, use your Z skill, etc. And that's it. By the way, we will unlock the Po Barrage. This is your best skill for grinding. Let's check the damage for Z skill 440. For Po Barrage, it's 769. Okay? So we're gonna grind here until 220. Next stop is the prison. So we have lots of bosses here. First stop is the Warden. So guys, there are lots of other players who might grind here. So let's just say sorry <laughs> if you hit someone and grind peacefully. To avoid getting angry while grinding, this might make the grinding a lot slower. So you can do wall strat here if you're alone. There you go. As you can see, they cannot hit us. Okay, so this will work with the Warden, Chief Warden, and also Swan. So for Swan, you might get hit. I'm going to show it to you. There you go. See that, guys? I was damaged, but it's fine. The damage is minimal. You can tank the damage. And that's it. Server up here until you reach level 350. I'm going to show you the stats again. Melee defense 225, blast fruit 600. Next island is the Magma Village. Our target is the Magma Admiral. And guys, check this out. The ability teacher is here just in case you forget to buy something. Okay, make sure to buy everything he sells. Okay, okay, so off to the Magma Admiral technique here. Just use your skills and dodge to the side. There you go, dash. Use your Q to the side to dash or dodge his skills and use your skills. That's it. Anyways, check this out. Guys, a light fruit user attacked me, okay? So this is Kizaru, right? The other one is Akainu, a magma fruit user. We're almost dead, but he won't be able to kill us. And then 
Aokiji. Is this Aokiji, right? The ice fruit user. So all of the admirals are here. So we're gonna kill one, Kizaru. Let's wait for our opportunity. They're fighting, they're fighting. Bam. <laughs> Good thing that Aokiji did not attack us. And he just decided to go away. Anyways, we're gonna grind here until reach level 425. Here are the stats. Oh, another Magma Awakened. Is that Awakened? No, no. Not Awakened. Here are stats. Okay. So next stop, we are heading towards the prison. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. The Whirlpool. The Underwater City. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So our target here, we're gonna skip the Fishman Warriors and the Commandos. We're gonna go straight with the Fishman Lord. So how do you defeat him, guys? Defeating him is very easy. Again, wall strat. Remember our technique with most of the mobs. Just lure him here. There you go. Free hit. See that, guys? Very easy. Don't forget to do server hop for faster leveling up. Our target here is level 500. After that, we are going back to the Skylands. The upper sky. Our target is the Whisper. Beating him is easy. Just use the stone strat or just uh, what we call the high ground. But make sure to create distance. As you can see, he cannot damage us with his bazooka also we will unlock our c skill the pawn nuke at mastery 200 so guys grinding will be a lot faster check this pawn nuke skill it really looks cool just a reminder we are going to use server hop again we will skip the thunder god anyways at 625 we will leave this area for the stats 425 mil defense blocks roots 1025 next island we are back to the fountain city target here only guys only the galley pirates the galley captains so guys we need two x skills and one z and c skill to burst them so guys we will unlock our final skill the v skill torture at mastery 300 i'm gonna show it to you there you go guys this skill is only good for bosses why aside from it has dps or damage per second once you cast it it is only single target so guys the best way to use this one is for bosses anyways back to grinding there you go once we reach level 775, we are now ready to head to the second sea. But before that, we are going to the Skylands and first buy the Instinct. It will cost you 750,000 bellies to buy this one, but guys, this is worth it, okay? So make sure to buy it. Next stop, head to the middle town, talk to experienced captain, and guys, welcome to the second sea. Notice that we skipped lots of mobs. First target, the Swan Pirates tips make sure to use your instinct to dodge their long range attacks and that's it actually guys you can use uh, your z x and c skill to one hit burst these mobs make sure to hit them with your x skill and that's it target level here is 925 and again we skip lots of mobs here are our stats 625 mil defense block roots remaining stats next up the green zone target here is fajita or fujitora here we can take advantage of the torture skill there you go really good skill it has damage per second but guys let's talk about the total damage of all the skills 9700 kind of low so you need at least four sets of combos to defeat fujitora so guys make sure to patient when beating this boss okay so again target level is 1000 checking our stats again 650 million defense blast fruits 1703 Next up, Snow Mountains. Target here is the Snow Troopers. So guys, they have long range attack. So again, I suggest to always use your instinct on defeating them. Okay, so same with the Sun Pirates. Same strategy with the grind. We're gonna grind here until level 1150. After that, we will head to the next island. That island is a hot and cold. So guys, this part is kinda easy. Target here is Smoke Admiral easiest boss to defeat in a second C. So guys, for the technique, first use your older skills and make sure to lure him here at the wall. Again, we're gonna use wall strat. There you go. There is a chance that he might damage you, but it's fine, guys. He cannot burst you. There you go. Okay, make sure to use all your skills and do server hop here. Okay, so we're gonna server hop a lot in this boss. Target level is 1 to 50. This area is the cursed ship so in this ship you will only defeat one mob and that is the ship deckhand why because they're easy to defeat and you can do wall strat with them guys just ignore all the other mobs here 
and you won't be having any problems leveling up here. Don't worry about the experience, you will still get enough experience to level up here. We will leave this area at 1350. Next stop, Ice Castle. Guys, this is the last island that we're gonna grind. First, the Arctic Warriors. Again, they have long range attacks. Make sure to use your instinct. Again, we're gonna skip the final island at 1400. We're gonna server hop the Ice Admiral. So, guys, in defeating him, again, same strategy with Smoke Admiral. We're gonna use all our skills, lure him in a wall. There it is, and do the wall strat. That's it, guys. Sometimes you might get damage, but again, we can tank the damage. Good luck on getting the library and the hidden key. Also guys, take note, there are also bounty hunters here. I don't know why this dude is here. He already has the Pale Scarf, meaning he is already in the third C. And check that damage. So I tried to fight him. Or at least uh, run. <laughs> because I know we're gonna lose here. Good thing we have the self repel. Also the Soru. As you can see, we are hitting him. But... Check that out, he is using Awakened Doe Fruit. <laughs> anyway guys, back to grinding. Again, wall strat. Target here is level 1500. Okay, again, we skip the final island because it's, that's too hard for us to grind. It's better here, server hop the Ice Admiral. Don't forget to do the Coliseum quest. Save the prisoners. And after that, you can defeat Indra. Actually, half HP. I go, he's using a Zoro. Shout out to Indra, please read my messages on Twitter. <laughs> Rip Indra. Anyways, after that, head to the green zone. Talk to Mr. Captain. And that's it, guys. Finally, we will head to the third C. Final C. So guys, let's grind this really fast. First up, our target is the Pirate Millionaires. Only. Okay, only. There you go. We're gonna skip the Pistol Billionaires, also Stone. Again, in the third seed, there are lots of other players. Check that out. Uh, Shadow Fruit user. Also, this dude. Awakened Magma Fruit user. So, just be patient. My tip on defeating the mob here. Always use your instinct. Also, Z, X, and C. Check the HP remaining. There you go. So, guys, just one X skill is enough to defeat them. And make sure to hit them all with your skills, okay? Okay, so gamer now, what is our target level here? Target level here is 1675. Let's check our stats. There you go, Blocks Fruits Max. Defense 1810, melee 765. Next up, Hydra Island. Target, the Island Empress. So guys, server up again. So what is the easiest way to defeat this boss? Not by defeating her face to face, but by doing wall strat again. So we've been doing wall strat for most of the bosses here but sadly this is the last one that you're gonna use it there you go okay so keep on grinding here again server hop until 1750 after that next island is the great tree okay target here is the kilo admiral so we don't have wall strat anymore but we have the high ground or the rock strat <laughs> anyways just jump in high ground you can hit him I her, sorry. You can hit Kilo Admiral here. There you go. But she cannot hit you. All you need to do is aim, wait for your skills to cool down, and that's it. So it's very easy to defeat this boss. Just do server hop, and everything will be easy. Our goal here is to reach level 1800. Guys, check this out. The luckiest moment in the third C, I was able to find the Mirage Island, and after that, on my right, rumbling. Imagine guys, <laughs> two events in the sea at the same time. Anyways, we're not here to do that. We're gonna head to the Floating Turtle and start grinding. Guys, only one mob here and that mob is the Fishman Captains. No more questions asked, just grind here. This is the easiest mob or NPC to grind. Why? Number one, they're easy to lure. Number two, they're near the quest giver and they're easy to defeat. Okay, so target here 1975. Next stop is the Haunted Castle. Here you will also defeat one mob and that mob is the Reborn Skeletons. So guys, same strategy. This mob is kinda annoying to be honest but we have no other choice but to grind here. There you go, after this, last island. Okay, so we're gonna grind here until reach level 2075. Okay, we're almost there guys. So next island is the Sea of Treats. First target is the Peanut Scouts. 
only mob that we're gonna defeat in the peanut island there you go very easy to defeat at 2200 we are heading to the cake land and in the cake land let's go there first here it is our target here is the uh, cookie crafter yes cookie crafter my favorite why they don't have long range attacks and they're near each other also near the quest giver so best mob to grind here okay so target level here 2300 after that we are heading to the chocolate land okay so by the way here are the stats max defense box fruits nearly 2000 in the chocolate land you can choose one mob that you want so for me it's the coco warriors you can grind here actually until max level also best place to grind is here because you can get conjured coco but let's try the final island so for our target the candy pirate okay so guys we're gonna reach max level here again i made this video because we will be having a reworked version of this in this upcoming update and i'm so hyped again guys i hope that you enjoyed this video again to all the viewers subscribers supporters i really appreciate you all we've reached max level on this new Pawfruit account again this is gamer nom gamer nom out see you on my next video Bye bye